first day of the book, how are you feeling about the team? How do you guys perform? Uh, you know, there's a lot of to digest right now. So we'll get ready to go tomorrow. We got, what do we got? We got nine guys alive. I mean, we got guys, mm -hmm. so we got some eighth place, seventh and eighth place matches and we have, uh, we got three guys, we got Gilman, we got Meyer, and we got um, one more for third, and then we got four in the finals. So, Brooks, good job, that was probably a solid win. And, uh, you know, Sorensen, a solid win. Clark, that's exciting, right? How do I feel? We got another day of wrestling. That's how we're looking right now. Nathan was kind of emotional coming afterwards. Um, you know, what, what does that win? You know, be able to finally get into the finals in a big, big event. Uh, he's a senior and he's paid his dues and he does everything right. You couldn't ask for a better ambassador for your program. Um, the way he carries himself and his academics, his social life, and the way he trains and how serious he is. And he's a good teammate. Um, he's not one of these guys that's um, you know in a corner by himself. Uh, people like him. He likes his teammates. He enjoys his time. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Tom, what were keys for Clark? Uh, he hit that little Ramos low ankle double and just kept wrestling. Um, that's a big key. Uh, when you're in a situation like that, I, I, didn't, I wasn't in the corner, but I was watching, walking by, getting, ready, getting Sorensen ready. But I um, saw that ankle shot. That's what you like. Just keep wrestling. He got, got taken down and he got an escape, and the guy relaxed on the edge and bam, got both ankles together. and. Yeah, Russell, that guy's dangerous. He gives us fits. We kind of go with some of the stuff he does, and um, you know, it's kind of like it's like the Europeans where they step up, over stepping and stuff. And you know, we gotta quit turning our, we gotta stay more square to him. What was uh, your take on twenty five? Um, I don't know why we did the move we did on the edge of the mat, and I don't know if he knows. But the bottom line is we're moving forward tomorrow. Uh, he's going to have to finish that single. And if he doesn't, he's going to have to get to it again and finish it. And th that's the key. And, and Burak was, was a, a great example there because he didn't finish in the first one. And sometimes it takes two. Sometimes it takes three. And um, you know, Gilman only had really one opportunity. And it was kind of like two heavyweights slugging it out, seeing which one blinked first. And uh, it was not panic time. And we for some reason did a move there that was a very low, low uh, percentage, very high risk. Unless you just got that chin and you can just do it and then step over and, you know, where you pin the guy. But, you know, looking at it from my chair, I don't know that that hold was there. And I think he would agree with that after talking to him. He's got work to do tomorrow though. We got to come back strong tomorrow. It's uh, a lot on the line right now. Anything else? Yeah, you got one guy who's done. Uh, Grothus. Can you just talk about his career and coming back and all that? A lot of sacrifice. A lot of um, doing things that uh, aren't comfortable. Um, and not a whole lot of complaint from him. I know he's hurting now for reasons with his performance and nobody's happy and there's a lot of people hurting but uh, what that guy gave for five years I mean there's a lot to be said for and we don't talk about moral victories but when it's all over you know there's a lot to be said for a moral victory there and, and also how he carries himself and uh, he's a super competitor and he's had some He's had some adversity with injuries. Okay, thanks.